Come and also a Canadian Chuck E. Cheese with us. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Today we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. So Sam's coming over after work, and we're going to go to a little spiritual store. It's like a crystal store. They sell like tarot cards and a bunch of stuff. We've been going there ever since like we were in high school. Like I think maybe we started going there in grade 11, I want to say. And this was like way before we were like into spirituality, really. We were just kind of like really drawn to crystals. Um, that's what the plan is for today. I'm wearing this shirt that I got from the thrift store recently. I literally paid three dollars for it because there's a hole in it. Look right here. If you want to like make outfits with me, I do film like TikToks and Instagram reels where I basically put outfits together. Let's get into the day. So I got some work done. Also have just been answering emails for my personal side and for my work. Um, I'm trying to think of any other updates. Me and Miko played in the backyard a bit. A package actually came. Um, it was for a video that I'm doing. I was just kind of doing a bit of that video, um, showing what I got. And Sam is now leaving her work. She's going to be here soon. And then we're going to head over to the spiritual store and then to Chuck E. Cheese. I am so excited. Bye. See ya later. You know when you do your makeup and then you just want to see yourself? I feel like that today. Like, I just want to talk to the camera because I just want to see myself. It's actually nothing to do with you guys. I just want to look at me. Just kidding. I mean, I do want to look at me, but it is also your, you guys, you know. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Look at this. There's our kids in there. We're here. Oh my God, it's fucking empty. <laughs> There's nobody in. I'm so excited. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So, one second. Let's quickly do this. So, I have a theory about why the pizza could come out not being all even. I'll put pictures on the screen so you guys know. You did this in my YouTube video when we were in, like, high school. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're gonna be going to Marshall's. I'm kind of be doing, kind of doing, I'm going to be filming makeup that I find at Marshall's along with like, <laughs> anyways. She hasn't changed. Literally. Um, lips are fatter, but nothing's changed. <laughs> she has lips, she has a top lip now. I think maybe they make the pizzas and then they cut them all up. And then when people order them, they give them individual slices. And then if you order a pie, they make the pizzas with those individual slices. But Sam says that apparently they advertise that they make their pizza fresh. So that would also not be right. But we'll see. I also think maybe it could be a thing in the States. So I guess we'll see if the pizza's fucked up. Come and also to a Canadian Chuck E. Cheese with us. Oh my god, that just scared the fuck out of me. I thought they were walking towards. No, they're walking away. We're also really hungry and they have a thing called unicorn churros and what else? Ah, uh, it's empty Cheese in there. Bread. Like fully empty. So vlogging is going to be interesting. I also want to take pictures of myself, which is going to be weird. And there's no children. Yeah, not not one child. Not one child around. <laughs> Maybe walk on your knees. I can hold your hand. <laughs> okay, let's go! Chucky Cheese! Chucky Cheese! Chucky is here. Chucky's here. So update, it's very serious in here. I'm very, very serious. The lights are very bright. We think there should be neon lights, lowered lights. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark vibes should be definitely implemented. Um, <laughs> also, the characters don't look like who they claim to be. <laughs> like they're impersonators. Who is this man? I'll insert clips of him because who is that man? this is not what he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to look like that. And he just doesn't look like that. He looks like stretched. He has like a dog sound. That's tricky. Um, anyways, we ordered pizza and boneless wings and coke. I realized after we got the wings, like, should we trust the chicken? Yeah, I don't know. I know I'm nervous after with pizza. We, after we got them, I was like, wait, do we trust this chicken? Or is it tricky? <laughs> it's probably just frozen, like, chicken. Is it Chuck to stop? They're just feeding us rats. <laughs> this is all a joke, by the way. Yeah, we're not here seriously. Yeah. I don't think any Chuck E. Cheese watching this. Chucky himself is sitting here watching this. Late at night crying. He's like, I aged, guys. I aged. <laughs> like, how have you not updated Chuck E. Cheese after all these years? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't like, really know how they're still in business because it's very... How did Palladium go out of business and not Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, Palladium's lit. And like with Dave and Buster, you can see where you need to improve. Like you can compare it. It's so easy. Like, okay, I'll just copy them. And they didn't even try. It's like they're set in their ways. They're stubborn. They're like, we don't want to use technology. <laughs> we want yeah, they still use the tickets. Like they don't have cards anymore. 
Yeah. Um, anyways, that's our update. We'll let you know what the pizza looks like. Also, the people are very, like, serious. So mean. Very, like, maybe it's because we're out of some chicken cheese. But, like, that's funny. Laugh. Like, make fun of us. They don't don't get serious. Like, what if we're pregnant and our pregnancy craving is chicken cheese pizza? You're gonna judge me for coming here? What if I'm trying to relive, like, some childhood, like, Yeah, what if I had trauma? And this is my safe space. (laughs) What if I'm actually a child in an adult's body? Like, you literally don't know people's lives. Don't be so serious. I know. I think that... I think (laughs) people watching Chugger Juice are fucking raging right now. (laughs) Fucking Chugger Juice is hard! (laughs) I'm just kidding. Working everywhere is hard. We know that. We both worked customer service. I still kind of technically do for lashes, so... I get it. I just, I just like, yeah. smile. You work at Chuck E. Cheese, you're supposed to be, like, happy. You know? This is actually depressing. It is. Yeah. Even the music, it's like, like, Chucky's depressed. And the videos, yeah, the videos we're playing are all, like, definitely from when we were kids. Yeah. We're getting fucked up. Uh, do I go right? Left? Oh, uh, right. That was gross. Um, <laughs> it feels sticky. The pizza, like, everything you could just tell was frozen, obviously. Which, like, I'm not surprised. Like, it's, like, a place for kids to play. Like, that's, like, every kind of fast food place. But this was, like, different. This was, like, extra bad. This was fucked up. Yeah, that was really bad. But like, I'm glad we did it for the experience because <laughs> yeah, that is probably the I'm, last time we'll ever go to Chuck E. Cheese because realistically, we're not taking our kids there ever. in the future. Like, My child will never step foot in the Chuck E. Cheese. Or we're going to have Dave and Mustard kids. I don't think I'm above people. But I'm above Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> but I'm above Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, same. Also, it was really overly priced. It was like over $50 and all we got I was don't even one want to pizza admit, I don't even want to and that. boneless wings. Over fifty dollars. That's more expensive than like Pizza Pizza, and like Pizza Hut and all those places. So like good fucking pizza. The pizza that I bought yesterday from that place I was talking about, where it's like real authentic pizza, was fifteen dollars, and it was a medium pizza, and it was so good. Anyways, that's fine. Do you ever? <sighs> Sorry. What the fuck? Just got home. It is 8.59, I finished getting ready for bed, putting on my pajamas and doing my skincare, seeing Miko. So I'm not gonna show you guys what I got in this video, or maybe I will tomorrow morning. That's it for tonight, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye. I'll quickly show you what I got when I was at the thrift store. So I got this dress, it's literally so stunning. Um, it's like a straight across strap dress, with like little spaghetti straps. And it's just very like 2000s vibe and i'm just really excited for this um i figured i would get it so if i ever had an occasion to go to um i had a dress for it i actually do have two weddings this year so i figured this would be good for maybe at least one of them and then the next things i got were more like home decor actually i like i also got this bag it's literally from shoppers drug mart like shoppers drug mart but i just thought it was so cute and so me and wintry and it's just another nice big tote to have um a lot of my bags that are that I like to wear with outfits are small, so I figured this would be good for when I actually need to bring a lot of stuff. Um, and then uh, let me show you the rest of the stuff. So I got this little wooden piece, and I think it's actually been like made, like I think this was handmade, I'm pretty sure. It either says 2008 or 2003, and I think it says Ross Beatles. I don't know if that's like Barbados. That's like my understanding of it. I don't know what else, B apostrophe D-O-S. So if you guys know, um, let me know. I just thought, I don't know, to me this looked very like unity, like oneness, like it just gives me that vibe of like we're all connected kind of thing. And I just really liked it. And so by the way, all of this decor that I'm showing you guys is all for right here because this is just not it. This entire setup, I just honestly hate it. I also got this cloth. I need to actually put batteries in it, but I figured this would be another piece that I could just have like resting in the back. This bowl is so cute. It's either gonna go kind of in the middle of this table or it'll be on there. Then this is actually a book of art. So they had three of these and they were all from different years. And this one's from the 1700s, which is so cool to me, like thinking that I have something from the 1700s in my house. Let me show you. So the back of the book looks like this. Isn't she stunning? Um, and then this is kind of what the book looks like. This is from, sorry, this one's from the 1500s. I got one that's older actually. So 1577 to 1640, it's basically just like art from 
back then. And I figured it would be like a nice coffee table book and also just so cool to like look through and it's just interesting to me. I originally was just getting records because I liked the way these covers looked. Like look at this cover. Are you kidding me? Look at this cover. Are you kidding me? This one is so pretty. Like what? That is like what I want my home to look like now. Look at that coffee table. And then also this one, ugh, games that lovers play. Like this just whole, I love this entire vibe. Kind of gonna be another one of those like conversational centerpieces, but I'm planning to get a record player now and I'm gonna have it there. And then I wanna hear what these records sound like because if they work and aren't super scratched up, I'm so curious to hear what they sound like. Cause like I have my idea of what this sounds like, of what this sounds like, and of what this sounds like, but I'm excited to see what they actually sound like. So I'm gonna take a look and see how much record players are. If they're not super expensive, I'll probably just pick one up. So that's my little haul, and this is the end of the video. I'm gonna go shower, and I've actually been in the process of filming my dog's day in a life today. So go, go check out that video if it's live, which I'm sure it is, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.